Welcome back to Less Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today we're cracking open a semi-used bottle of Old Major bacon flavored whiskey. Now, I think we're just glutton for punishment. Super fan of the channel bought this a while ago and we tried it a long time ago. This has been sitting up on the shelf because, you know, everything's better with bacon. I don't remember this making it any better. So we're going to have head, to see. In my head, I'm not thinking this is, I don't know if this is going to be better with bacon's not, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see. So we, again, it's been, it's been probably a good month. I did it's like been the front of the there. label. It is a neat looking bottle. Um, I, there's very little on the internet about this bottle. It's 70 proof. Could some, be a reason why. Some dope didn't write what he actually paid, but I do not believe he paid very much for this bottle when he bought it. Can't I imagine. believe it was made by brand, Branded Spirits. The flavoring and the bottling all took place in Nashville. That's all I got out of it. Yeah, it just says Tennessee on there. And uh, it's it said it was an 88... Wow, did you crank that on there? I didn't touch it. 88% corn mash. Wow! Wow. That's that's you. You could open the other stuff we saw the other day. That thing was on there. Of course, that was like two years old. That thing just sealed. I think the bacon juice has sealed this shut. If anything, they should have made it slippery. And then uh, bacon fat. Oh boy, that one's yours. Oh, no. <laughs> you're a ticket. <laughs> uh, is this going in? I, I really don't remember. I really don't remember it. A, a long. Oh, it's got a bacon scent. Now, what I remember, well, I'm not even going to say. It's been so long. I'm not going to seal this super shut. It's, I would if it's going to leak. All right. Good. Yeah, Steve's got to open it next, not me. <laughs> all right. I got a shiver just thinking about it. I'm not going to lie. I've been dreading this one. Now, it kind of both have, guys. I'm like, on the first his, smell. His options up there for us are not very good. I think he's, he was mad at me when he bought all of these back in the day. What do you smell? Because I get I get the hint of like a bacon fat. I do get a hint of that. I am getting like, but not really so much like say bacon because I just cooked it yesterday, so I know what bacon and a no, bacon. The fat. I am getting the bacon bits, the artificial the, bacon uh, bits that you get and with the smell that you get out of uh, when you get them in like the the plastic containers. And I, don't, I know, I know, not the fresh ones either that are actually know, bacon the salad. pieces. Just a little tiny imitation. Crap, it imitation, says imitation, imitation, one. imitation. Yeah, imitation they're fake. That's what the smell I get out of this. I could lean. I could lean that way, or or just even even you don't want it, the fat turns white and it just gets hard. See, but I like I use that to cook with. Yeah, I know, but that's yeah. kind of the smell that I get with okay. that as well. I can see that. But to me, it's not, not as the pure. Cook, not the it's cooking not bacon. As, it's not as pure as that though, because to me, I love the smell of that. It gives you that nice because you do get a little hint of like the bacon smoke. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. like if you get a nice smoked bacon and like say you open the package and you got the the, the juices on your hand and you smell it, and you smell. You do get a little of that smoky, but it, it's a fake. Right, I'm, I'm it's a fake bacon. Uh, I'm trying to go in, but yesterday was Sunday on Fun Day, and I we just carried it into Monday. I think so. That's what I said. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're like a glutton for punishment here. It's it's sweet. It's a sweetness. There is a. And that's what I. It's Very not as sweet. bad. It's not as bad as I remember it. There is like a candy sweetness that hits you super, first. Super, yeah, super sweetness. It was an initial. Oh. Flavor too. An but. aftertaste. Now I'm getting you the get, artificial bacon. Like now, that's what that, that's what I can attribute it to. Like if you eat one of them crunchy, nasty, you know what I mean? Not the good ones. I don't really mind those because I throw them on my salad sometimes. But it does have that aftertaste. Huge aftertaste. Yeah. Of, yeah it, I don't mind them either. I like them. They're crunchy. Or, not or like a or even like a, a suck bacon. I don't remember any bacon ever tasting like this. It uh, reminds me of the fake bacon bits. Like when I get that. The you little, ever have oh, freezer burnt bacon? No. Yeah, you haven't missed much. I might, because I have like 62 of them in my freezer right now. I'll let you know. But no, I've never really had bacon. Uh, bacon doesn't last very much in our house usually. I'm, I'm, we used to we go at it a lot. I will say for all of you people out there that like to cook, if you have not put bacon on a smoker, a must-do. So much better than any bacon that I've ever had ever. If you re-smoke it, like you put it on a smoker... You can check out my son's review since he he throws things jerky's food reviews. Uh, we we did a bunch of cooks back in the, a couple years, a couple summers ago. We we put a bunch of them in anything that had the bacon. I don't remember you doing bacon. Oh, oh you we did the pigs. Sh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just you didn't just cook it out there. I know he's no, no, no okay. but we did but the pig shots. Yeah, we, yeah, did yeah. The, we we did the the bacon wrap. Uh, yeah. 
jalapeno oh, what's stuffed up? chicken anything wrapped with bacon. So good. But when it's on a smoke, it really sucks. It's so in the good flavor. in the whiskey brand. But. I'm going to say this is about the only thing I've ever had bacon on that didn't improve it. I'm not uh, saying it improves it at all. No, I'm, I'm with you. I don't even know if this would be even a, a funny joke gift. I don't know. No, because it, it, it has a. After you drink it, the nose changes. It gets stronger in the bacon flavor and it has a weird aftertaste. That sweetness in the front, quick, quick sweetness, and then it's like a, a, a spicy. It's almost like there's a, like a spice in there after, and then you get the you get that medicinal flavor of where it says flavoring. It seems to me that's that's it tastes like a fake bacon to me. Uh, like it, it really be. tastes like a fake. They just drop those in the bucket and then they <sighs> scoop them out. That it does. Uh, it but they sink to the bottom. And you don't worry and you about just that leave bottom. them. Right? You just you just pour it till the end. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, like, now I, when you smell it, if, that, I don't know if they made it, they, do, really they can't jumps really out. drop in bacon fat. No, it had to, it would have to be, like, a bacon flavoring. It would have to be. So, I want to say put and cook bacon in, in there. Mm. I don't know. Didn't really say much. Doesn't really say much on the bottle. I will the say. The front, you can see and read perfectly. I, I've had. This brown on brown. Pretty hard to read. I've had, I've had. You know, bacon milkshakes that were delicious with real bacon in them from like Five Guys has a bacon oh, yeah. milkshake. It's really good. This, not good. It's not good. And Steve will probably not grab this too. He he he's like, <laughs> it's because it's the aftertaste. This, it sticks this here forever. Honestly, and and now it is Monday, and this would be a good punishment. Like you have to drink one of these shots before you do like Blind Taste Tuesday or something. Oh, yeah, where, that's, where gonna, we, uh, that's not gonna throw your taste. No, it's gonna throw you off. But if we ever go to where they, that's we need like eating them hot ones over there. <laughs> yeah. and try and then come back, and it's like you know yeah. what I'm about to lunch. You know, I, I will say we've tried a variety of flavors. This is not my go-to flavor. I would never buy. I don't know that peach one he brought too was not. We didn't do a review on it, but that was not that great either. I'm, he knows we're not flavor guys, but he buy, when he comes over, he'll buy a bunch smile. of nips of a bunch of things. He's like, what flavor do you get now? And he'll, he'll, he'll be like, it's like a torture <laughs> test sometimes. You know, so I can't wait for him to try Poppy. Don't watch this video. There you go. We're going to be giving him some skunk cabbage. See how he likes that. Yeah. yeah. What was the other? Oh, he already tried the other one. He, he tried to will it. He, he couldn't drink it. He was like, I, 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 I hate that to waste it. That was one of our worst days. That was a bad day. That was yesterday. So today, instead of doing a good one, Santa sack full of good ones, we decided to we bring the more pain. he. I let you pick it. There was well, three to choose from. Yeah, I know. And it's, those have been up there for a while. They have been up there a while. And the, next, the, the one next to it's probably not going to be much happier. We'll see. We nope. haven't had much luck well, in that one. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that aftertaste, it, is, it, it, is. Just, it doesn't go it, away. It does. It always stays. It's like on your tongue. It, it doesn't go away. So Maybe one thing it was like a blackberry or something, but it's not. You know what though? I I I, I nine times out of ten you put bacon in a meal and it just improves it. Mm. This this is a ex prime example. This is just not good, and it's not that real bacon flavor. It's like that fake bacon artificial nastiness. I, I, it's not. For yeah. Me. So there you go. We'll wrap this one up. Uh, old yeah. major bacon bourbon. Leave it on the shelf. Not sure what he paid for it. Wasn't worth whatever he paid for <laughs> it. It, I, I it could have been six dollars, and I say, yep, no. It, don't it wouldn't be six dollars even on sale. I doubt. But. I'm just saying it could be. Well, and I'd still say yeah, pass they had up. a case of them, and they're like, "Yeah, we need these out of here." I wouldn't even take it. I'm with you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I other than cooking with it, maybe it would change the flavor. Uh, no, no, then my meal would taste it. like shit. I don't know. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't know. Yeah, no. Well, because I like cooking with the bacon grease. You know what I mean? And then yeah, you, well, whatever you're making, but that would just make it nasty. So there you go. We'll leave that one alone. Uh, Two thumbs down for me. I, I don't recommend this for anyone. This isn't fit for women or children. I guess it's <laughs> or anybody. Uh, maybe it. maybe it's a fun joke in Tennessee. I don't know. Yeah, apologize if people think. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you actually like this stuff. Maybe this it, it's gotta have I'm a gonna, market. I'm gonna be burping this up for like. Oh no! Yeah, I already am. I'm not. I'm not happy. Lucky for him when he came with this, he also brought a thing of dill pickle ones. Dill pickle. That one was ever fun too. So <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching. I'd rather go for dill. If you're still here, not subscribed, please consider doing please so. Do. We would greatly appreciate and for it. Those that have, thank you. That being said, spend less, drink more. Cheers. I don't even want to shoot this. No, you would be both. I'm dreading it. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Yep. <laughs>